I cannot stand how they're all on top of each other. There's just so much crap on the floor. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> cut my carpet. Hey everyone, I'm Chloe and I am stuck at home like everyone is. So in order to not be a pile of mush on the couch, I decided maybe I would actually be productive and start organizing my apartment. So I live in a studio, so I don't have the most available space in the world. Although I do have two closets, which for a studio is pretty legit. I've recently gone through my clothes and donated a bunch. So this is mainly about organizational hacks and tips. So I searched the interwebs and I found 18, yes, 18 hacks, tips as to how to make my small closets look their best. I think we should look at the closets. So this is closet numero uno. <gasps> home sweet home. It doesn't look that bad, quite honestly. It's mainly my shoes. I cannot stand how they're all on top of each other and they're like underneath here too. Here we go to closet number two. Woo! It's just kind of full. It's mainly just down here. Like there's just so much crap on the floor. And then I feel like there is a better way to do what I've done here. I actually luckily have inbuilt drawers, but they are a mess. This is my underwear drawer. Yep, you're getting a lot of info from me today. So everything I bought for these hacks, you can buy on Amazon. I would usually do more price comparison, but considering the situation in the world right now, I don't want to go out and shop for non-essential items. I do though want to give a big shout out to all the delivery drivers that are still working through all of this. I also want to note though, since ordering these items, I've been seeing some stuff online about maybe not ordering non-essential stuff from online anymore, just because it puts more of a strain on the delivery drivers. So I can't tell you what is essential and what's non-essential to you, but maybe just check the recommendations at at the time of watching this video if you want to copy any tips or tricks that involve shopping. But let's get this going and I'm going to start with my shoe closet which is this way which is why I'm pointing this way. So the first hack we're going to utilize is how to better display your sunglasses. I love this idea because I don't use the back of my door at all and I figured I could hang up some sunglasses on the back of that door. So I have some coat hangers they're velvet and pink which I think are very cute and then I also got a couple of hooks which you just put sticky stuff on. I'm slightly embarrassed by the amount of sunglasses I have. I'm kind of a little bit obsessed with them to be honest. And here's one. It looks pretty cool. The one thing I'm a little worried about is it might rattle on the door and that's gonna annoy the shit out of me. Ta-da! One hack down. I decided to hook it here because it was too wobbly having it there. Hack one, thumbs up. Another quick hack just using these hooks would be if you don't want to hang sunglasses on the back of a door, you could hang a bag for instance. So that's not going to get in the way of anything here. Thumbs up to that hack. The next hack is a shoe hack to hang up sandals and it involves a metal coat hanger. I think you just cut here if this even will work. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> cut my carpet. It seems that you just like bend it into like a baby coat hanger here. This is not gonna look super pretty, honestly. And then you gotta curl that around. So it technically works. I just don't think it's very aesthetically pleasing. It will get them out of the way because I can just hang them up here. Although then I get dirt on my clothes. This hack is a uh, semi thumbs up. The next one is a little tough because it doesn't totally fit with my closet. So I've tried to find a different way of doing it that's still the same kind of idea. And I've come up with this really cute drawer. What? So as you can see, the shelf would have hung from here and this is in the way. I have got the drawer, which I want to hang like this, but it doesn't work with those either. So I think I'm gonna have to use two coat hangers. That might work. It's not the cutest thing in the world, but just hang that and then do the same on this side. Mm, I don't like how this is hanging. There's way too much space here. This is not space saving. All right, I found some old twine and I tied it like so. This is still not the cutest and it still could be higher up. If I really wanted to utilize this space, I could. <laughs> I don't love it. This one is a medium again. This is partly my fault because I couldn't find anything that would work. So the next hacks are all about shoes, which is amazing because my shoes are a disaster. First one is to literally just put your shoes in a big old tote 
which would fit down here nicely and put them up either this way or this way so that you're not layering them. The hack says to put a old wine box in here, but I don't have an old wine box. All right, I basically just played shoe Tetris. I think they're pretty easy to get in and out. Definitely looks a lot nicer than it did. I've just realized I now can't get to these shoes, but as long as I put ones that I don't wear very often back there, I think it'll be fine. So I'd say this hack is a thumbs up. So next is to utilize these boxes to create another shelf so I can add another layer of shoes on top. This was supposed to go in here. It does not go, it doesn't stay at all. So I have eradicated that. So ignore the fact that they're so flimsy that they look stupid. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, they are looking neater than when they're piled on top of each other. And I have two pairs in here. So this hack I'd say is a thumbs up. I just should have bought more sturdy boxes. And then the final shoe hack is something you don't need to buy anything for. You just have to turn your shoes heel to toe because apparently that fits more in a row then. Is this true? Oh, look at that gap already. <gasps> Yeah, I fit a whole other pair of shoes in there. All right, I fitted like two more pairs of shoes in there at least, so pretty cool. I give that a huge thumbs up. And now my shoe organization is complete. It does look a lot better. Before we move on to the other closet and the drawers, I must get an opinion from someone about this. Hello! Hi, Chloe. How are your 14,000 closet hacks going? Yeah, it's quite a lot. Um, I have completed one closet out of two. My favorite thing is this sunglasses. That's really cool. I, I right now have all of my sunglasses laid out on my dresser and it takes up way too much room. I guess the main thing I wanted to show you was like how I decided to do my shoes. I have this tote. The other thing is um, toe to heel fits more shoes in. Well, I never knew that. That's actually a really good hack. What's cool about all of the hacks that you've done is it makes everything very visible so you don't lose track of things. Cause I know I have like shoes hidden in weird places and I forget about them. I guess I have to go and do my other closet now. Well, good luck to you. Thanks so much, I'll speak to you soon. Oh, little Neens, I miss her so much. Okay, so we're gonna do the drawers now. So I've put all my underwear into piles. I have drawer dividers. You can actually make your own out of cardboard, but to be perfectly honest, I already had these from a long time ago and I wasn't about to make a whole bunch of dividers because it just sounded like a lot of effort, but you can if you want. This is all going in my top drawer and you can like roll your underwear up and put them in these little bits. So let's do it. It. Oh my god, it looks so much better. I mean, they're really shoved in there, but it just looks so much more put together. Okay, onto the bras. So pretty! I mean, it looks way better. The only thing is it's not really utilizing like all this space here, like up to here. Luckily there is some room at the back here. So I have like nipple covers and some extra bra straps. So I'll definitely give this hack Thumbs up. So the next two hacks are how to display things in drawers. The first one is a Marie Kondo technique and it's to store everything upright so you see everything you have. All right, so I haven't folded anything yet, but I just wanna show you this thing I just MacGyvered, which I'm pretty impressed about. I had an old box and I put all my swimsuits in here. I have sectioned off this part. So that's good. This is all my workout stuff now. So in order to store things upright, Marie says you fold pants in a certain way. So fold these in half and then to fold that in half again, um, and then again, and then roll them. And then you're gonna store them up like that. It's gonna be kind of annoying to try and take any of these out because as soon as you take them out, the whole thing's gonna just collapse. Well, that took rather a long time, but it is done. This isn't really part of it. I just put my sports bras like this because I wanted to be able to see them. So yeah, all my pants are here, all my tops are here. I think it looks cool and it's easy to see stuff if you have a very good sense of what you own. I have a lot of black shirts and they're, I shouldn't have put them back here. They're all back here and, and the few here and I'm like, well, which one's which? Now I have to pull them all out. I'm gonna give it a three quarters up. So onto my overflowing pajama drawer. I'm gonna use a different folding technique for this drawer and see if I like it better. I actually only have instructions to fold a t-shirt, but I'm sure I can figure out how to do the pants. Great shirt, I'm sure you'll agree. So you fold it in half. Boom, boom, and you fold these in. And I think you fold this down and then over again. So 
So all my shirts and tank tops are folded. I didn't know how to fold shorts and I'm not even wearing them right now because it's too cold. So they're just piles. All of this has to fit in there. I have like my three biggest ones left. I think I'm just gonna have to fold them up and put them right in the back. So not exactly how I wanted it to be, but it still looks nice. And I actually probably prefer this technique over the one above. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. So next hack is how to organize your bed sheets nicely. I just throw mine up in a cupboard. It is a mess, so I could really use this one. Also, I was hot, so I threw my hair up. Okay, this is super simple. I just have a duvet cover and a fitted sheet. Do not come at me about how to fold a fitted sheet because I've no idea and that's not what I'm learning. And one pillowcase. And then you just put all of that into your other pillowcase. And done. Yeah, that was super easy and it looks a lot more put together. Thumbs up to this one. So next we're moving on to my second closet, which is where I keep most of my clothes. And we're gonna start with some coat hanger hacks. This seems like a really simple hack. For some reason I have a bunch of coat hangers that don't have the groove here. So tops like this just like slide off. Easy, easy fix is just to get a giant bag of rubber bands. No, you literally just don't need that many at all. A um, couple of rubber bands, you just put it on the end and then I will wrap that around, but I only have one hand with this camera. Like so, it uh, doesn't fall. This obviously isn't the most aesthetically pleasing thing in the world, but it does the job. So I'm gonna give it thumbs up. The next hack makes it easier to be able to like slide your clothes. So obviously I have like barely any gaps between them, which make it hard to be able to see what I have. So this allows all your clothes to be stacked down in a line, which means you have more room across. So I'm gonna have to do this on my going out tops since I have my laundry bag right here um, and this will get in the way. So let's see. It's so cute, I love it. You know what, I can probably fit my t-shirts right here. Let's do that. These are now looking great. It also means that I can pull all the stuff that was all the way back here further out so I can actually see it. Thumbs up for sure. So I have tank tops and they take up space. This is a hack so that you can fit them all onto one or two coat hangers. So you got your ring, you got your tank top and you just use the straps to hang it onto here, which is really hard one-handed. There, that's what it's supposed to look like. And then you'll just Look how much space I'm saving. This is amazing. Each one of these tank tops would be on a separate hanger. Love it. Definite thumbs up. Next hack is for hanging denim shorts, also using curtain rings. So it says to fold the shorts with the zipper in the back, like so, and you're supposed to grab the two side belt loops. These don't really have exact side. They have sort of more in the back, but I think they'll do. And then you hang the shower curtain ring through these. Ta-da! And then you actually hang this on your coat hanger rod, not on a coat hanger. <laughs> they look like they're about to be sold in a store. They're so organized. And then I'll use this side of my wardrobe and I'll put them up here, which I can't do one handed. The story of this video's life. And there we have it. I will say that you should get bigger rings than this because I can barely move these on the rod. I think this is a great idea. It just looks wise, it's really cool. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. So next up, we have a way to make this pile of pants look a bit better. So these are dividers that can go in between here and it doesn't obviously do the most, but I think it will just keep everything from falling on top of each other like it's kind of doing here. Well, these very nearly don't fit. I have to like really squish them in. I don't think my ceiling is very level. Very nice, if I do say so myself. It just makes them look a lot more organized. Thumbs up. Okay, we're on to our last two hacks, which is very exciting because I'm very tired, but I'm excited about this because it's gonna fix this complete disaster. So I have out of season clothes that I just stuff in the bottom of my closet, but these bags you can compress the air out of. So all the clothes are really, really tiny and you can fit more of them in. And I'm not gonna be getting them out until summer. So I have all my clothes in here. We got this stuff that is stick together here. Now the fun part, your roll get all the air out of it. Hmm, I may have overfilled this one to be honest, but it's still thinner than it was. I 
I'll put these all in my closet after I've done the last hack. Definitely a space saver, so big thumbs up. Now onto my last one. Yes! So I truly have an insane number of bags, but I truly use every single one of them for different things. I'm gonna pack them in these giant boxes that I think are for comforters. And here is one bag of bags. Much nicer. I think actually what I'm gonna do is put all my squishy clothes in my second one and then bags on top of that because I'm not gonna need these for a while. And we are complete. Last hack was a definite thumbs up. I was really surprised by how many of these hacks actually worked really well. And I'm so impressed that I now actually have an organized closet or two. If you wanna do some practical stuff while you're at home, this is definitely something that you can do, especially the things that don't involve buying stuff. So stay safe out there and get organized. I'm going to bed now. Good night. Mm -hmm.